All right, we're out here now. We're doing a new storm uh, for a project. I did 15,000 square foot of foundation pads, two different buildings, a nine and a six. I uh, didn't film that. I actually wasn't here, the guys did it. So now we're putting in the storm, uh, getting ready for the parking lot on this. Show you what we got going on. Little HDPE. Stable lies of sand. Got the box here. And we're shooting this with the pipe laser. You can see the numbers right there. We are a 0.26. We're on a positive um, up. So we're going up from here. Our drainage point is to that drain right there. We'll have to cut the concrete there and go in. So that's our low point. So we're on the positive. It's on the slope that they're calling for. We set our flow line, measured down, and then the stick that the guys are using right there is gonna have several marks on it. I'll go up here and get a measure and show you. Let me see your stick for a second. kind of explain to you what we got going on. Top mark is bottom of the ditch. We're required six inches of stabilizer. So this will be the top of the stabilizer. And this is the flow line from the pipe. The laser is already shooting the right slope. So let's look at the scenario on the blueprint and show you where I get these numbers from. Right here, you can see the flow line that is the bottom of the pipe. From there, you can see what the top of the rim elevation is. So with knowing them two measurements, you can set your laser up. It also shows you the percentage of fall on the travel of the pipe. So dial that into your pipe laser, dig your ditch, use your stick, and you're good to go. Now the bottom of the pipe there is the flow line. That is the most critical point. You shoot your benchmark that you're given and you set that right to the what it's called for. Top of rim's a little different. They have different risers to top you out at different elevation heights so you can meet what you need with the riser. So after you set your rims, get all that, it's time to keep on moving, setting your HDPE here. See the guys are getting ready to swing it into the ditch. Now this is going at the same angle that the pipe laser is. We done dug the ditch, we put everything in it. So after he does it, he'll be able to go back and check it and make sure we still got the same flow line. So we check the bottom of the ditch, we check the uh, stabilizer material we check the flow line and then we check the pipe itself to make sure where we're at here you can see we didn't have no pipe lube so we're just using dome dishwashing liquid whatever works it gets it in there just make sure you get it set see the green line up we are required to keep that up so the inspector can see it so let's move on down now we got the pipe in, got the stabilizer, got it, the bridges, that's the little mounds right there. That's to keep things from floating around. Also, you set them at the height that you got to backfill the top of this. Once you get inspection, you ain't got to get your laser out of nothing. You just go by your mounds. Now it's time to set the next inlet. When you come down here, set the inlet. Remember, you got your flow line and your rim. So you lay that out on your box. But you also lay it out for the ditch. <clears throat> You'll see we put a stake in the center. And on that stake we'll have what is 
the bottom of the ditch and then you have to have a six inches of stabilizer under your box then you got your flow line and that tells you where to knock the hole in the side of the box as you can see this is where it turns and goes back the other way well we had rain as you can see right back here we got to pump all these out we got inspection tomorrow so we're getting a generator out there so we're gonna get ready to go pump with the rain brought a cold front in so it made a mess of the job site that's okay we were prepared nothing floated up as far as the pipe we ended up getting a delivery for some storm on down the road there a little bit that's what we were unloaded here the guys are getting the pump set up here we go pump and you can see the dump truck bringing the mini in here we're getting the road cleaned up man every time it rains you will clean up some mud got it pumping now you can see what the ditch looks like got everything pumped up cello done got on the dozer been drying the place out roughing it up turning it over all that now we're back to where we begin now it's time to finish up this is where we were before the rain started so now we started back picking up where we left off moving on you can see the ditch is drying up nicely everything's in good shape mudding up the next box have to get in there and get your hands dirty man doing that mud you only use a non-shrink hydraulic cement in there get it all packed in smoothed out here the guys are going down the top disposing that green line that you saw as we was putting in that's so the inspector will be able to see it so here we mudded now we've moved to the tie-in we're moving the last leg we had called inspection trying to beat the rain but that didn't work so now we're going to keep on completing the system look back you can see what we got in this morning got it cut took the concrete up now we're moving this leg folks i'd like to thank everybody for watching hit the subscribe button see you on the next one